Today we're making a new niswa salad. Okay, so here are my ingredients. We're using white vinegar, red wine vinegar, olive oil. This is the empty container to make the dressing. We're using some small olives, black pepper, using radishes, tomato, a potato, an egg, and some onion. And we don't have any tuna, so we're using um, sardines and half a head of lettuce. Now we'll chop the onion. We want it in good sized slices, but so that you can taste the onion flavor when you're eating the salad, but not so big that it's kind of repulsive because you know, onions are a little bit spicy, so good for you. Now we're chopping through the other way, leaving it nice and chunky, as you can see. And we got it to the point where you like it, how you like to eat your onion in your salad. Voila, that's what we do. Chop the egg. You want some nice slices. Easy peasy. Chop up the potato. You must have cooked it in advance, can't be raw. Now we're going to slice up the tomato. There we go. Using a plated knife for this one. You can use cherry tomatoes if you have them. Some nice sweet ones. Now we're going to quarter. The radishes. Our radishes are kind of big, so I think just a few ought to do it. Radish is so good for you. Make a little spot here. See how big this radish is? So I think it's kind of like two regular sized radishes. So. Those little tiny radish, you quarter it, but since this one is so big, you want it in bite sized pieces in your salad. I think these should do it for our half salad. Then we arrange the salad. So you take your lettuce here, put your radish on there, and then you go grab your tomatoes, put those in a spot. Grab your eggs, put those in a spot. Grab your potato and put that into a spot. Easy peasy. Grab your onions. Make a little place for that. Now we just have to add our meat and we're going to make our salad dressing. Now we're using my old container for salad dressing. And I'm just going to dump a tablespoon of onion in there. And the um, oil from the anchovies. I'm sorry, from the, um, from the sardines. The little thyme pieces off of the thyme. You see them in my hand. Very easy to do. Just go down it. I picked this fresh from my garden, but you can buy fresh thyme at most grocery stores. Just take it, 
and you go down like that and get those little pieces off. Mine is so fresh that the whole little piece came, came off there. If that happens, then you can use it. You don't want the woody part of the time in your salad dressing. And in my garden, this time has a lot of really good flavor. These other little pieces are nice. You can take this woody part and put it in your soup. There's a lot of flavor in it. It's just not um, easy to grabbing that getting well we can uh, I'll probably just put that back in the garden as a mulch because <laughs> I have so much time time is a blessing okay. and now we're gonna chop this a little bit up as fine as we can and it can't be chopped easily will be broken up. You gotta mince this up. The woody parts can't be minced. That's why you have to get your time off of the woody parts. It has to be really, really finely chopped so that the flavor comes right out of it. tablespoon if you can get it. I don't think I quite have a tablespoon, but that's what I got. I have some other herbs that I'm going to add to this, so I'm good. So it might be close to a tablespoon. And then putting that in our bottle. I have, um, this is carrot top using that instead of parsley because my parsley didn't come back this year. Carrot tops have a nice flavor than the parsley family. This again is from the garden. Mincing that really well too. This is has a texture very similar to a curly parsley. So kind of rough. And then this is an, a fennel leaf type herb from my garden. It's not fennel leaf, it's a licorice type herb. And like fennel. So it has that nice licorice leaf flavor and it has these thick stems which are kind of delicious in your food. I'm really loving this right now. The thyme is the only one that's traditional. Since I have a garden, I'm doing a little bit, you know, when you have it right there in your garden, then you'll add it. So if you ever see a recipe and they got all these different herbs, just use the one you have. I'm also using a turmeric leaf. Because I just love the flavor of turmeric leaf. It's so juicy. I guess it's kind of similar to like using lemongrass but it has the flavor of turmeric turmeric is very easy to grow and if you get nothing else you will always get turmeric leaves grow it in a pot grow it in any area it's a bulbous plant so when it dies back to the ground or when your area is getting cold you can bring it inside and keep it with your house plants until it's time for it to grow again. Can't be kept in a cellar that freezes. It's a tropical plant. It won't live, even the bulb even won't live in, in that environment. But if you keep it wherever you keep your tropical house plants, it'll be fine. 
I don't have to water it during the winter time. Get it back out. So there's my spices. And um, way more than a tablespoon there. I'm just putting it into our container. Easy peasy. Mm. Ooh, this smells so good. This, the other part is where you get your roughage and stuff from, but this is where you get your nutrients and your antioxidants from, from your herb garden. Or from the herbs you buy from the grocery store. Because they sell fresh herbs in the grocery store now. Pick some up, give them a try. What have you got to lose? And now that we've got all of our herbs in there, we need some black pepper. Really good amount of coarse black pepper. Some olive oil. About a fourth of a cup of olive oil. But we have some oil in there already with flavor. A dash of, I'm using um, red wine vinegar, because that's what I have. You can use apple cider vinegar. I would have used it if I had it, but I wanted a good flavorful vinegar. And then, now that we've got our flavors in there, I'm going to add some regular old white vinegar, because it's cheap. And that's what we do, right? And that is our lovely salad dressing for our new slice yes. up. So everything can get in there. Leave it in the refrigerator till it's chilled and serve. Using out. sardines. Some people use anchovies. Some people use um, tuna. Pop that on one little corner of your salad here. And we'll use the oil from that in our dressing. Before we add a handful of olives there. Stick them on there. And some green beans. And that is our niçoise salad. 